everyone. This is a deck interview with the Luna Soul Tarot. I've been doing this thing that when I get decks coming into my collection or spending time in my collection or possibly leaving my collection of doing a deck interview to see if what if what I'm feeling is real and if we need to make this thing official or not. <laughs> um, so uh, let's get started with the deck interview. I have my handy dandy spread over here to the side and we'll also periodically look at the guidebook because it's also how I'm looking at the or experiencing the voice of this deck is part of that is the guidebook. Okay, so the first question, as you guys know, I deal with jumpers, so what we'll do is we'll lay out the cards. If more than one card jumps, then the, the card will go to the next question until we've exhausted all of the questions. And I have 10 questions here. The first question is, please introduce yourself. Okay. The moon. Describe me, please. Oh. <laughs> so, Nine of Swords. I mean, it's a worry war right now. Knight of Swords. For your strengths as a deck. What are your weaknesses as a deck? Death. What can I learn from you? The chariot. What is the best way to work with you? I like this question. What is the best way to work with you? Queen of Disc. Hmm. Okay. How you challenge me? <laughs> Ten of Swords. Interesting. What's our potential together? Right? Is this going to be a lasting thing, a fleeting thing? What's the potential look like for a relationship? Uh oh. Three of Swords. Some disappointments there. What's the outcome of our relationship? What's the outcome overall, despite? The three of swords. Okay. Easily the queen of wands for the outcome of our relationship. That's interesting. Okay. And then what does this deck work best as? Does it work best for readings for me, others, or both? And we have the queen, king of wands. Okay. All right, so the first question was, please introduce yourself, the moon card. And I love this. It's um, kind of interesting little moon cards, kind of traditional, kind of not. Um, this, Card, card is about this deck is about being a reflection of it really being a reflection of who we are as people or, or if we come to this deck with questions it's going to reflect back the answers we already know that's inside of us so 
that's what I get a sense of about this deck. Is it going to be this super duper profound deck that's giving us these profound answers? Well, it all depends on what's coming up from deep inside of you. And if nothing's coming up deep inside, then it is going to be a reflection of that. And that is how and where this card or deck really uh, lends itself to. Um, look at the little door. There's a little door. I don't know if you can see it closely here. Um, that can either be a portal that goes um, in and goes deeper, or it could be something that just kind of, you know, you just stand on the outside and never really go that deep. Again, it's all dependent on how deep or shallow you want the reading to be, and that is what you will get as reflected back from this deck. What the deck uh, thinks of me or describes me as, it has the Nine of Swords. Lately, I have been feeling like I've been not so much a worry wart. Um, I guess I have been kind of worried about the state of affairs in the world and in my country. And it does give me great pause and worry. And I, I haven't been sleeping that great. And I know a lot of people haven't either. But this isn't about other people, is it? This is about me. And it's describing me. And look, at I'm just kind of an out picturing of reflection. It's reflecting back what's going on, right? I'm not ashamed that I have the Nine of Swords reflecting who I am right now. I got a lot going on in my life right now. Stress. <laughs> Excuse me, I have to take a sip of my beverage. The next question Your strength as a deck. Right, the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords is about, you know, just being bold, fearless, ready to take on the world, and, and in fact, um, charging ahead and taking on the world. I was looking at the at the um, right here of the swords. This is. This knight is a messenger of good news. Tidings of success or achievement of something you have worked hard for. The almost reckless confidence of this knight is appropriate to the situation in your current position. So your strength as a deck is that um, this knight is very confident, ready to charge ahead, ready to move forward, um, ballsy. Um, however, it can be a little reckless at times. So with this deck, you may have to just, when you get readings with it, understand you, you have to do what's most comfortable for you, but that the advice coming out of this deck is going to be bold, it's going to seem fearless, it's not going to shy or skirt away from things, and yeah, that's what you get as the strength of this deck. A weakness as this deck as this deck I thought was interesting was the death card and I was trying to understand why that would be so maybe it's not necessarily a deck you should come to when you're going through major transformation or major transition maybe that's not the deck it's that's best for those kind of readings for yourself or for your clients because if this deck is like the moon card deck where it's reflecting back what it is you're going through and really when you're going through major transformation like the death or like with the death card meaning the last thing you're going to want is a deck that's just kind of spitting and regurgitating back what you're already experiencing and going through you may need a deck that can that is really tapping into your what your spirit is what higher spirit what higher uh, self what our higher self is saying here to us that it, yeah that this deck would not be the deck for that it would you would need a deck that speaks almost to a high like I can't even describe it this deck is too much in our world in our plane 
than the, some of the other decks that can kind of scratch the surface of being able to help you deal with major transformation and transition in your life. This deck may not be the one for you in that regard. So I may not want to go to this deck when I knowingly know that I or myself, I myself or others um, are going through major transformation. It, I would need to be careful when I'm doing readings with this when that is the case because it may dig up things that people are not ready to deal with and it could make the transformation that much harder and we're not trying to make the transformation harder we're trying to make it easier and there are other decks more suited to make it easier if that makes any sense um and then we have so that's your weakness and then what can i learn from you the chariot the chariot is about hastening and moving forward um taking how to take some fast um not fast forward steps but fast forwarding fast forwarding to your goal and how to move forward towards your goal in a more efficient manner and so that's what's exciting about the chariot in the what can i learn from you position because it's like okay what you you can learn from me is how to um move forth in an expedient fair and um, fun way and it may not always be fun it may not always be the easiest but it definitely you'll be moving forward quickly towards your goals and so once you're once you've made your decision that you're trying that you've got to transition or transform and you start to transform or maybe you don't make the decision and the transformation happens as you're underway and as you go through and on the other side of transformation this is a good deck to have as you are starting to move quickly towards accomplishing your goals but it's not necessarily the best of decks to work with when you're just first starting out in your transition or transformation if that makes any sense then we have what is the best way to work with you? And we got the Queen of Disc, which I thought was beautiful and interesting. What is the best way? Let's look at the guidebook on that one. I'm sorry guys, I was looking, looking at I'm trying to find the this. Okay, here we go. Just threw me up for a bit. It says success and growth beyond what you could imagine are coming and there is someone in your life that can help you achieve this. Not to mention nurture and heal you. This person is extremely competent but also knows what it means to live a fulfilling life. They are a gift to you. Accept it. Um, so this is a deck that if you're also trying to manifest some goals and manifest um, just having um, nurturing and loving relationships in your life and knowing how to get that and gain that this would be the deck for that if you're wanting to manifest how to have a healthier and fit lifestyle for yourself and your family this is the deck to consult for that so definitely like your lifestyles kind of deck but again it's like if you're trying to come here for um, dealing with major transformation or spiritual transformation then it may not 
deliver on the goods that you're hoping for. And that's not a bad thing. It's just got, for me and for the purpose that I'm going to be using the deck, it has a whole different vibe than what what maybe I thought it would have. But that's okay. It works. That's why I like the deck interviews because it kind of gives me an insight into how to best to use it. So maybe I would be inclined to use the deck more. Um, and that, yeah. So... Let's see, the next question is, how you challenge me? So we have the Ten of Swords. Wow, well, how you challenge me? I would say having to face, you know, difficult transformations and, and having to come up with doing that transformation on my own and not necessarily consulting anything but myself is a challenge in and of itself and so that maybe if i was traveling and this is the only deck i have and i'm going through some moments in my life maybe not just running to the cards is the answer in this regard maybe just coming up with the answers all by my lonesome is where where it's at the 10 of sorts also is saying here the horrors and fears of a situation have been fully realized they have cut you to the core but can no can not cut you further this card is the indication of something undeniably difficult but the growth that can come from the situation is already beginning to bloom and so um yeah how you challenge me is helping me to face some of the difficult things on my own and that's cool cool thing i would say what's our potential together the three of swords there's definitely gonna be maybe some feeling like um some disappointments some a, you know like some grief over something maybe a reading that doesn't hit so well um, I'm just looking here at the little guidebook yeah just maybe just uh, at first not really utilizing this deck as much as I'd like it just being kind of a disappointment in that regard but over time what we have because we have the outcome of our relationship, the Queen of Wands will find me at some point utilizing this deck and enjoying it, really enjoying it. But initially, it's not gonna, it's not gonna be as love, fall in love instantly of a deck as I hoped and thought it would be. So that would, that was gonna bring some initial disappointments. But in time. I will keep this deck in my collection and it will grow in me and it will grow to the point where I may even be using it for client readings. As we see here with the King of Wands, I would get, I get the impression that for the question, um, what would this deck work best for readings for me, others, or both? I get this would be readings for both, for both myself as the King of Wands and as the King of Wands found you know expounding wisdom to others and a spiritual guidance to others that would say yeah this would be a good deck for readings for others as well that's my intuitive hit on that so yeah it's quite the deck it'll be interesting I get a sense that I'll be using this deck at some point for readings for myself and for others I get a sense that at first I'm not gonna quite know when to use this deck because again this isn't even really so clear but um, in time, it will become a little clearer. But that moon card tells me it's not going to be. But one thing is certain is that this deck is about reflecting already what's going on. More so than other tarot decks. All things really do that. It's a mirror or duality in our universe. In my, my belief system, at least. And so because of that, 
it's always going to be, everything's always kind of like an out picture of what, what's going on inside of us. And it's, so if you're not ready to deal with that all the time or, you know, in your face all the time, maybe this might not be the deck for that client or for you. So I, that's the sense that I get. But yeah, at first I'm not going to quite know when or how or why to use the deck and it's going to bring some initial disappointments to me. But in time I'll start to use it and really start to enjoy it and start using it like the Dickens for others. <laughs> all right everyone well thank you all so so much for watching let me know what you think of this deck and if you have it and um, do you do deck interviews yourself for your new decks or your decks that you already own I'm curious would love to hear from you all right guys much love many blessings see you on the next video bye